Hi, I'm Dr. Covert. Feel free to call me David or Dr. Covert or Professor Covert. I'll be your professor for Math 2450 for the spring 23 semester. I wanted to take a few minutes and show you around our Canvas site, show you our syllabus, show you our homework platform, and just give you kind of an idea of what the semester will look like. And so I have basically everything organized in modules. And so if you click on modules on the left, um, alternatively, uh, just to go back for a second, you can click on any of these links too. These will just bring you to individual modules. Um, but I like to just click on the modules page. This will bring you to where we have all the information here. Um, and so I have a start here module. So this will just have the course syllabus, um, auto access information. I'll, I'll explain what that is. Uh, that has to do with WebAssign. And then here's information about accessing a print rental. If you want a print copy of the book, it's a pretty cheap copy, but it's $8, uh, including shipping to and from. Um, it's just a three hole punch version of the book, basically. Um, so those are the kind of the starting materials. And then the bulk of the course will be in the course agenda module. So here I just have one module and then I have one uh, kind of item per week. And so the first week being January 17th to January 22nd, this will tell you what sections we're going to cover, what exactly we have to do. So I'm going to click on that. And so um, I'm making the introduction video that you're going to watch here. I'll send that to you. Um, uh, anyway, so that link will be there. The next thing I want you to do before you watch any material or anything is just to create an account with WebAssign. Um, WebAssign is going to be our homework platform. Um, we're also going to be doing some quizzes on WebAssign. The thing that you'll need to link up our course to WebAssign is this class key. So it's a 12 character code. And so what you'll do is you'll go to webassign.net. Um, and so this is what the page looks like. Up here you'll see enter class key. And so if you do that, you can enter in that class key. Uh, oops. You can enter in that class key and that'll show you, uh, that'll kind of link up WebAssign with, uh, with our class. So uh, obviously I'm not gonna do that because I'm not a, a student here, but that's how you do that. Um, I'll show you what WebAssign looks like in a second, um, but that's how you register with WebAssign. And then I have some videos for you to watch and then some um, stuff to do. So homework and, and quizzes and so on. So that's how this, the course will be broken down. That's where I like to put all the material. It's just in each uh, item here. Uh, and so one per week. So that's the modules. Um, the other thing I want to take a, a little bit of time doing is looking at the course syllabus. And so the course syllabus here is uh, just going to kind of be an outline of uh, kind of how the uh, rules and regulations for the, for the semester basically. So uh, again, it has my contact information at the top, um, our, my virtual office hours. Um, so that's Monday, 1030 to 12, and then Wednesday, 10 to 1130. So all of those are virtual, which I think works well for online classes anyways. Um, those are just times when I'm around. You don't have to make appointments, just come uh, to my Zoom lecture and, and I'll be there to answer questions. So that's basically what that time is for. Uh, if you do want to meet face to face for whatever reason, just send me an email and we can work something out. We can find a time, uh, hopefully. Um, just for you to be aware of, I have two kids, so I generally don't answer emails from say 3 p.m. to uh, <laughs> school pickup time to bedtime. Is basically what it is. So, um, you know, by the time the kids are in bed and I can um, concentrate on work again, it's usually uh, about that time. So, just to kind of give you an idea of when to expect a reply from me. And, and if you don't hear from me for a while, that's why. So uh, I just wanted you to know that ahead of time. Make sure that you meet the prerequisites for the class. So that's a C minus a better in Calc 2 or basic calculus. And I, again, I'm not gonna read the syllabus for you verbatim, just kind of take a few minutes and read it over. Uh, and this will kind of give you an idea of everything that we're gonna do here. Um, so like I said, WebAssign, which is owned by Cengage, is going to be the program that we'll use for uh, homework and for quizzes and for accessing the ebook. And so Cengage Unlimited uh, has been purchased for you already through the auto access program. Um, if you have questions about that, contact the bookstore. If they can't help you, contact me. Um, and again, this is the same class key to get enrolled in WebAssign. So you can look at that there. The textbook that we're using is Elementary Linear Algebra by Ron Larson. It has its own web page, which I'll show you in a few seconds. Um, but the idea is that uh, the web page kind of has some supplemental materials, some extra videos. So just if there's some concept that you're missing and you need some extra, excuse me, you need some extra information, that's one extra resource for you. We also are going to have a supplemental instructor this semester. And so this is a student that took the course not long ago and did very well. And she's basically a uh, liaison between uh, me as the professor and you as the student. So she's there 
basically to run weekly or regular uh, problem solving sessions or or review sessions or however she wants to structure it. So uh, her name is Afina. Um, she's great. If you have any questions, you can contact her. Um, if you have any need for assistance, if you're having any problems with anything, I would encourage you first and foremost to try and contact another member of the class. I think that talking to your fellow students is kind of the best way that you can figure out, is everyone having this problem? Is this just a difficult topic? Or is it just me? Is someone? Is there someone that can help explain this? I think if you can kind of be around uh, and uh, reach out to someone else that's in the class, that's a super useful thing. Um, so very good skill there, um, but also a good way to learn. Uh, if you need to contact um, anyone else, then you can start with your SI leader or you can contact me, um, either come to my office hours or send me an email, uh, whatever it is, I'm happy to help. There's the website that I said, larsenlinearalgebra.com. So again, that's a website that's kind of built around our textbook. Uh, and then uh, basically the final thing is don't go to the Math Academic Center. So the Math Academic Center, you're officially past the help that, uh, at least for this class, you're past the help uh, that should be offered there. So the Math Academic Center is really meant for students up to and including Calc 2, maybe Calc 3. Um, but once you get past that, you're really past the help that the Math Academic Center is meant for. So. Uh, I would encourage you just to use each other as a resource, your SI and me. There's going to be two exams. Each of those will be worth 100 points. Um, there will be a final at the end of the semester. Okay, so it'll be a cumulative final out of 200 points. And uh, we'll have regular quizzes and regular homework. So that's going to be the uh, basically the assessments that you'll have over the course of the semester. As far as the grade calculation goes, so just to repeat what I said, so there's two tests, 100 points each, the final is 200 points, and then homework and quizzes are 100 points each as well. So that's a total of 600 points. I generally use the A as 100 to 90, B is 89 to 80, C is 79 to 70. Um, I do not use plus or minus grades. So just know that going in. As far as classroom conduct and academic dishonesty, just uh, obviously with an online class, um, you need to be a little extra careful about cheating and, and just make sure that you're giving honest work here. Um, so I don't have too much more to say about that, but um, if there's any questions or if you uh, have any issues or uh, basically if you uh, have anything that you want to talk to me about this, uh, we can do that. If you're registered with Disability Services, um, just send me an email and, and with that email, give me your letter uh, kind of explaining the accommodations that you have and, and I'll make sure that you got all set up with that. If there's anything else that I need to know about you, if you're a student athlete uh, and you're going to be traveling, um, if you are working full time and you're going to be traveling, um, you know, our course is online asynchronous. So most of this can be kind of worked around a little bit. But uh, basically, if there's anything I need to know about you, just let me know and we'll uh, we'll make it work. I always, I miss the, the in-person interactions with students. So I do just like to get an email, just send me an email, say hi, you know, explain who you are, what your major is, what you care about. Um, and just a quick introduction, I think is uh, very useful. So I really like those emails. Um, so I'd always appreciate people uh, email me and, and just say hi. Um, it just helps uh, kind of fill that gap with that online class, right? There, there's very little interaction, so little interaction is good there. At the end of our syllabus, there's a calendar. Um, so the calendar has in it basically just the exam dates and spring break dates. All the other dates are in the modules themselves or in WebAssign. Okay, so I'll, I'll explain that. So uh, again, if you just go to the first course agenda module at the very bottom, this is what I mean. Uh, this will just say complete your WebAssign homework for these sections by this date. And then this is the date that it's due in WebAssign. And then again, complete the quiz one on WebAssign on this date. Um, and so I'll, I'll basically use WebAssign, I'll use WebAssign exclusively for homework. So we won't do homework on any other platform, not that I could think of. Um, quizzes will be done probably on WebAssign as well, um, but possibly on Canvas. And then exams will be done probably on Canvas. So that's the setup there. So that is how I have the course structured. So that's everything I wanted to say about uh, the modules, everything I wanted to say about um, the syllabus. Two more things just to show you. So once you can get into WebAssign, this is what your course will look like. It doesn't look like there's any assignments here because I'm recording this video obviously before the semester starts. So uh, the semester uh, hasn't actually been started yet and so you're not gonna see your course. But uh, ideally, this is where your uh, list of assignments would come up with the different due dates. 
And then the other important thing is that at the top, if you click on my eBooks, um, this is the eighth edition of that uh, elementary linear algebra book by Ron Larson. And so if you click on that, that'll open up the eBook platform. Um, I should have opened this ahead of time. It just always takes a second, but this is the ebook. And then this is uh, one way that you can kind of walk through and look at the different materials. So in addition to watching lectures and doing homework and quizzes, I always encourage you to look at the book itself. The book is uh, written in a way that'll explain things as nicely as possible. Um, obviously, it's a book. So, you know, there's going to be some things that you read and maybe it won't make sense until uh, I do some examples uh, in video. So um, th those two things go hand in hand. But reading the book is an important part of learning the material. So I'd encourage you to read the book, watch videos, uh, and then do the homework and quizzes and so on. Okay, but that's how you access the ebook. The last thing I wanted to show you was the LarsonLinearAlgebra.com. Um, and so this is the book. Uh, so welcome to LarsonLinearAlgebra.com. And at the very top, they have instructional videos. Um, and so there's stuff for some chapters. We go chapters one through seven, and some of the stuff is missing. So in chapter five, there's only material for section one and, and section five, right? So it's not a complete set of videos or anything, it's in no way gonna replace what we're doing in class, but it's at least some extra support. So if you're having problems with chapter two, um, chapter two there, there we go. I was gonna say there's no section eight, but if you have problems with chapter two um, in whatever section, you can go in, you can watch a video and hopefully get a maybe a different way to think about that. Okay, so this is just some good, uh, some good videos, some good uh, background material for you. Okay, so supplemental material. So I think that's everything I wanted to say about the course. I'm sure I forgot something. Uh, so I will uh, definitely be in contact with you via email. Um, please just pay very careful attention via email, via Canvas. That's the only way that I can really get a hold of you with this online class. So um, that's how I will send out instructions or updates to exams or whatever it is. So that's the deal. Um, all right. Well, I hope everyone has a good first week of class, and I hope to hear from you soon.